When winter comes, and drivers change tires and fluids in their cars, they sometimes also exchange the battery before temperature falls below zero. We are in the ZAP Schneider Batterien factory, located in Piastów near Warsaw, Poland, that manufactures batteries for various types of vehicles. Let's take a closer look at the manufacturing of a lead-acid battery filled with electrolyte. The electrolyte is prepared in the electrolyte plant. Concentrated sulfuric acid, the basic ingredient of the electrolyte, is stored in the special tanks. The electrolyte is used in manufacturing of negative and positive active materials and to fill batteries at the later stage of formation. The batteries are produced in the so-called expanded metal technology. The lead strip is unwound on the uncoiler. It first goes through the buffer and then goes to the perforating machine. After entering the machine, the strip is perforated, i.e. it is cut and stretched to specified dimensions. The so-called expanded strip is formed this way to create plates with lugs. Then it is sent to paster, where it meets technological paper supposed to prevent plates sticking to each other at a later stage. It looks like this. First, the expanded strip is placed on the paper, then the paste coming from above is pressed into it, and then the entire element is covered with paper again. Pasted expanded strip leaves the machine. At the next station, it is divided into individual plates. After cutting, these are sent to the drying tunnel when they get dry in approximately 150 centigrades. After drying, the plates are stacked into piles by a machine and the stacks are placed on the pallets by a robot. They are sent for curing that takes 35 hours. Then, positive and negative plates go to the enveloping machine. The enveloping process means that one of the plates, positive in our case, is encircled and enclosed on both sides with the insulation material, called the separator. Then, at the same station, the sets consisting of positive and negative plates stacked alternatively are created. The sets are sent to the machine that casts straps. First, the sets are placed in baskets. The rotating table moves these sets to the station, where plate lugs are aligned and cleaned mechanically by brushes and chemically. Then, the positive lugs are joined with positive straps and negative lugs are joined with negative straps in the mold. Moreover, battery terminal offtakes are also cast on this station. Plates joined in this manner, cells, are placed in the container. The 12 volt battery contains six cells of which the two outboard ones are equipped with terminal offtakes. Battery containers with inbuilt cells are sent to the next machine. The quality of formerly manufactured separation is checked on the first station, i.e., it is checked whether there are no short circuits between the plates. Then, 
The straps are welded, which means that the electric circuit is closed. Finally, the containers are sent to the tester that checks the quality of the welds. The next station automatically welds the lid with the container. Then, the terminal offtakes are soldered to the LED flanges on the lid. The container tightness is tested on the last station and the product is thermally marked with identification code. Now, it is time for a battery formation. The battery is automatically filled with the electrolyte, i.e. diluted sulfuric acid. The batteries are transported to forming baths and the openings are closed with technological plugs. After filling the bath with batteries connected to each other, the tank is filled with water. Batteries in the bath are connected to the rectifier and the electric charge enters the battery in this manner. Water is used as a cooling agent since a lot of heat is generated in the formation process. The whole process, including basic parameters such as voltage, current and temperature, is controlled by the computer. The average formation takes 20 hours. When the formation of batteries is over, they are sent to the finishing line. The first station is used to fill up the electrolyte and to set its level. Then, a worker assembles plastic plugs on the lid. Then the batteries are placed in the cleaning tunnel, where the acid traces are washed off. When the batteries are dry, they are sent to the station where their electrical performance and tightness are tested. Only the products that pass the test go further on. On the last part of the finishing line, workers install anti-explosion inserts, handles for carrying the battery and plug covers. Finally, the label is put on the battery and terminal covers with plus and minus signs are installed. The ready batteries, piled on the pallet, are taken to the warehouse. The whole set is wrapped in foil before it is put on the shelf. The batteries are now ready to be loaded on the truck and delivered to the distributors and final customers. <laughs>